thank you for taking time. I appreciate it. Thank you. In such a difficult, difficult time. Thank you for the invitation. まずあのどうやってインターネット接続をしているのか、えー、電話やインターネットっていうのは普通に今使えている状態なんでしょうか教えてください。So there is a massive issue with the internet connection. I to make this interview happen, I had to ask one of my relatives who is living next to where I'm hosted to give me an access to his internet. But I think as you see, it's not really efficient. 今、えー、ハンユニスまあ、ガザ地区の南部にいるということですけれども、えー、今はその親戚の家にいるんでしょうか、また、もともとのお住まいというのはガザ市なんでしょうか。Yes, so originally I, I live in Jabalia, Jabalia refugee camp in the northern part of Gaza Strip, and so at, the beginning, at the beginning of this war in Gaza, I had to flee with my, my, all, my entire family, my wife and my children, my mother, my three sisters and their children. We had to flee and evacuate the north towards the south into Khanyunis city in the south. And now I'm hosted with my, one of my relatives here in Khanyunis. お家があったっていうことでよかったでしょうかまたその家は破壊されてしまったんでしょうか ?Yes, my house was destroyed at the fourth day of this war in Bethlehem. But I, I fled the house before it was destroyed. One day before the, they destroyed it, I fled. So thankfully I was in there. And I knew about it because it's a really dangerous area, so I couldn't go back. But then one of my neighbors informed me that my house was destroyed and then I saw by, by pictures my house、uh, turned to rubble.、Mm. I want to mention that recently I bought a new apartment for me.、Uh, for me and so I was lived next to my parents' house. And recently I bought my new house, but they destroyed it all, also before I moved to it. On June 20th, the voice message of Yusuf said that when the house was destroyed, 悲しみをそれほど感じなかったけれども、えー、ガザで一番古い教会が破壊されたときは、ものすごく悲しいんだというふうに聞きましたけれども、ガザの人たちにとって、また、えー、ユーセフさんにとって、その教会というのはどういう教会だったんでしょうか So, this is Berfi's church. It's the third oldest church in the world. And this is one of my favorites. So, I, wo I work with many internationals, and always I have visitors from outside Gaza. And it's always the first place that I want everyone to see. It's part of our history as Gazans. And whenever I have anyone who's coming to visit, it's the first place that I want everyone to see. And also, the relation I was having with the Christian community here in Gaza, it's a minor, it's, it's a very small community, but、uh, most of them are my friends. So, I was always looking to the church as a house, not as a church. And that's why I, I was spending, I spend most of, yani if, whenever there is a holiday or anything related to Christianity, I was always invited. And they are, we are like an extended family is here. And the church, Christian community is a very small community in Gaza. So, I was very lucky to have, to have them all as friends of mine. Hi, ありがとうございます。まああのこのインタビューの前に、えパンを得るために5時間並んでたというふうに聞きましたけれども、今日や昨日のえ水や食料を、またパン以外のですね野菜など、まあ、そういうえ食べ物は十分に得られてない状況だと思いますけれども、現在の状況を教えてください。So the main issue here in Kanyun is as a city, it doesn't have the capacity to host all this amount of people. So in one day when we evacuated the north and Gaza city, In one day, the population was doubled in Khanyunis. And Khanyunis, as a city, cannot have the capacity to provide for everyone here. Everyone, is, especially, have thousands of people at Norwa schools or at Nasser Hospital or some others in green areas because they are not lucky to have families or relatives here to host them. We have a daily mission now. Every day, we have to go early morning first to stand in line in front of the bakery to get the bread. And they only allow you one bucket of bread. Then, if you want to get water, you have to go also to the municipality to sign to register that you don't have water. And then you have to, it takes three to four days, then they will get you water. So now we are trying to 
organize ourselves and make yani reduce our consumption to make sure that it will, everything we have will last for longer it's a challenging here to find anything you need so wherever you go to the market it's not that you go where the, with a list with you to go to buy specific things we go to the market and whatever we find we buy ma ano ima ko yatte スマートフォンを使ってインターネット接続をしていただいてますけれども、電気の状況を聞きたいんですけれども、まだまだ燃料があのいくつかのお家とか、まああの、場所によっては燃料があって電気を、ま、え得られてるんでしょうか So, in terms of fuel, there is no fuel in any home. So, there is some family, some houses here that already had solar panels above their houses. And now it's like at designated points, everyone go to charge. Unfortunately, I cannot use my laptop because it's out of batteries, but I managed today to charge, yesterday to charge a power bank, and I'm using it now to charge the phone again. So this is how we manage every day. It's part of the challenging to keep your phones charged. And I was happy today, yesterday, I went to Nasser Hospital and I found. The electricity line that's inside the hospital that was empty. I used it and I, sh- I charged my phone fully, and it was surprising for me. And I was very happy and fresh because I managed to charge my phone fully for the first time since the beginning of this war. Ano, so this is a very challenging thing. つい昨日だと思いますけれども、アメリカのバイデン大統領が交渉したことによって、緊急支援物資を運ぶトラックが20台ほどラファ、エジプトのラファ検問所からガザの方に向かっていってますけれども、そのことは知っていましたでしょうかまた、そういった物資が届いているということは聞いていますでしょうか yeah, and I don't think twenty trucks are enough for the president of the United States to consider it as a victory. Twenty trucks for two million people are in need. What do you think? And also, these 20 trucks were filled of medical supplies, which we were in need. We are looking at that as positive news, as okay, it might change something, that may be something in the way, but trust me, 20 trucks cannot make any difference. Even before this war, on a daily basis, at least we used to have 500 truck beer day in the normal days when, we, when people wasn't really under hostilities or under war. Imagine how the situation now. And yeah, you do the equation 20 trucks, what they could do for 2 million 300,000 citizens. Thank you very much. I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say I witnessed 2008, 2009, 2014, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2030, 2031, 2032, 2033, 2034, 2035, 2036, 2037, 2038, 2039, 2038, 2039,
I was I'm in a nightmare. It's gonna finish soon. I do, I can't believe what's going on here. And what's really we cannot believe is the reaction of the international community looking for one p one side of the issue and ignoring two million people. And so that's what was shocking for us. And also there is root causes for all of that. We are Gaza is under the siege for more than 17 years, and we are under occupation for more than, than 75 years. And no one think about that. No one take yeah, consider that that's part of the issue. And now there is two million people here are facing a daily struggle just to find their daily need. They don't actually also we don't have access to the news. People who are outside of Gaza know more than us inside Gaza because there is no electricity, no internet connection, and there is no even signal to call to to start calling each other to make sure that we are our relatives or our neighbors are alive. We are disconnected from the, the entire world now. People here are thinking on their daily needs, on daily basis, thinking about what their children need how they're going to provide water, how they're going to provide fuel. to if, Because if you have water, you don't you need fuel to push it to the water tanks because there is no electricity. Everything is connected to each other. It's a tragic, a tragic situation. It doesn't give the people in Gaza space to think about anything except providing for their children because everything is very, very challenging here. Hey, ano, so this is... まあ、本当に本当に大変な状況ですけれども、あの日本の政府、または人々に、えー、どんなメッセージ、どんなことを期待しますか、どんなことを私たちはガザの人たちのためにできるでしょうか。What is more, more important than the assistant is pushing the international community to push both sides to cease fire. People need a break, people need to breathe. We really need Everything, all these hostilities around us to stop just to think like ordinary people. The international community have a responsibility towards people in Gaza, and they are the only solution to push all the sides to reach a ceasefire. We need a ceasefire to have to catch our breath. We are in for 16 days, we are continuously struggling day by day. So we are survival mood. I survived from this several times. When every day there is a bombing near me or around me or wherever I go somewhere, they bomb the house. We witness things that we never imagined that we witnessed. The international community has to look for us as human being, not as second class people. They just need to push everyone for a ceasefire and we are survivors. If, if things can get calmed down, we can recover. And I know Japanese are supporting Palestinians since 75 years or maybe before also. And we are really grateful for all of that. But what's needed now, it's not the assistance, because you can see the issue with the assistance or Rafah crossing. What's needed now is pushing the international community. And Japan, one of the heaviest country, in the, and then it has its it political way to push everyone to reach a ceasefire. I oh, know. 本当に大変な時にユーセフさん、えー、メッセージを伝えてくれてありがとうございました。えー、今の、えー、何よりも停戦が必要なんだということは、えー、個人的にも今、日本政府に、えー、国連に、えー、停戦決議を提起してほしいということを求める、まあ、キャンペーンを始めていますので、えー、しっかりと今のメッセージを受け取り、日本で伝えていきたいというふうに思っています。あと、あの、来年日本に招待しますので、必ず来てください。ありがとう。I promise, if I survive, I really want to do it.